Welcome to the series on covering the latest 2025 ATA management guidelines for adult patients with differentiated thyroid cancer. This is Endo in a Bite, where I break down complex concepts into bite-sized pieces you can actually remember. In the last episode, we covered guidelines 1 through 5. Today, let's move on to guidelines 6 through 14. Guideline 6. When it comes to thyroid surgery, volume matters. Refer patients to high-volume surgeons, at least 25 to 50 thyroidectomies per year. Complication rates are lower. Outcomes are better, especially for extensive resections. Guideline 7, ultrasound staging. Neck ultrasound is essential. Assess central and lateral nodes and look for gross extrathyroidal extension. It is indicated for all patients with malignant cytology or molecular findings. If you see a suspicious lymph node 8 to 10 millimeters or larger, perform a fine needle aspiration to confirm malignancy and guide surgical planning. An FNA thyroid globulin washout may help, but it is harder to interpret if the thyroid is still intact. Guideline 8, sometimes ultrasound is not enough. Use CT or MRI with contrast. If you suspect invasive disease, bulky nodes, or aerodigestive or thoracic involvement. Now remember, Chest, abdomen, and pelvis imaging should obviously only be used if you suspect distant metastases. And FDG PET is not for routine pre-op use. Reserve it only if the results would change the extent of surgery. Guideline 9. Skip routine serum thyroglobulin or thyroglobulin antibody testing before surgery. It does not add value. Guideline 10. Do not use routine genomic profiling preoperatively in differentiated thyroid cancer. Selective use is reasonable when it helps interpret borderline cytology or imaging or when the genomic profile will affect surgical planning. Guideline 11, active surveillance can be appropriate for very low risk papillary thyroid cancers, intrathyroidal, one centimeter or less, with no nodal or distant spread. It requires deliberate shared decision-making with the patient. Another option is percutaneous ablation as an alternative to both surveillance and resection. Guideline 12, follow with regular neck ultrasounds to detect disease progression. Guideline 13, do not use routine thyroglobulin or antibody measurements during surveillance. Guideline 14, move to surgery if you find biopsy-proven nodal metastases. If the primary tumor grows three millimeters or more, if there are distant metastases, or if you see extrathyroidal extension or posterior growth. Also consider patient factors. Anxiety, inability to comply with follow-up, or a strong preference for surgery. Let's discuss numbers to remember. Better outcomes are seen when surgeons perform at least 25 to 50 thyroidectomies per year for lymph nodes. FNA is indicated once they reach 8 to 10 millimeters. Very low-risk papillary carcinoma, meaning one centimeter or less intrathyroidal, can be managed with surveillance or ablation. And during surveillance, growth of three millimeters or more is the trigger for surgery. Let me discuss nine case scenarios. 42-year-old woman with a bulky papillary carcinoma abutting the airway. We are at a small community hospital. The right move is referral. 36-year-old man, FNA positive for PTC. On ultrasound, we see a 9 millimeter lateral neck node rounded with microcalcifications. Pretty obvious, but guidelines say we need biopsy. 55-year-old with hoarseness and dysphagia. The thyroid feels fixed on exam. Ultrasound, of course, is done, but the point is we need a CT. 29-year-old with Bethesda 6 cytology. One of the residents want to order a thyroglobulin, and we say no. 48-year-old with indeterminate cytology, the same resident wants to order a genomic panel, and we say no. 71-year-old with a 7-millimeter papillary thyroid carcinoma, confined, no nodes, multiple comorbidities. We sit down, weigh the options, and together we decide on active surveillance. Same patient we follow with serial neck ultrasounds every 6 to 12 months. Two years later, no growth, no new lymph nodes. Same patient. A resident suggests checking thyroglobulin every six months. We say no. 
Last case scenario, 63-year-old on active surveillance with a 9-millimeter tumor. After 18 months, it's 13 millimeters. Time to move from observation to surgery. This has been Endo in a Bite. Remember, in thyroid cancer, precision matters. Stick to the evidence and avoid overtreatment. Missed a detail? No stress. I've taken the notes for you. Just head over to easyendoprep.com to sign up for the weekly newsletter, and pearls will be delivered straight to your inbox. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, stay consistent, and we'll work through all 84 recommendations together, one bite at a time. <laughs>